people get when they go to the emergency rooms. Senator Hutchison, I think um, I speak for a lot of people I know in my zip code and a lot of conservatives that I have had the pleasure of having a lot of debates with. And I think the concern about what the Republicans are doing right now is that what they're proposing is kind of a, a light alternative to what the Democrats are really proposing. And what we want to see, and I'm probably a whole lot more right wing than a lot of people are, is a reduction of the actual government involvement in not only this, obviously, but in a lot of different things. If you look at the history of health care expenses, health care did not start skyrocketing until <coughs> Medicare and Medicaid got into the ballgame. And right now, the government actually is responsible for paying over 50% of the health care bills out there already. Um, I agree with you, tort reform is, is a, a vital part, but I think uh, minimizing government involvement is probably even more vital. And I don't know if I'm speaking for this group or not, but I would certainly like to see the Republicans start trying to scale some of the stuff back instead of saying, okay, well, the Democrats are proposing this big program, we'll propose just a smaller version, which is what it's, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's what that sounds like. I don't think small business health plans would be envisioned to be a government program. It would right. be, uh, in, we want jobs created in the private sector. The okay. Democrats want to create jobs in the government sector. That is the difference between us. So, uh, so I believe, Would your plan be a private sector plan, not a public sector? Just creating, it would create the structural framework for the private oh, yes. sector to do it. Yes, it would be Blue Cross Blue Shield offering the U.S. Chamber of Commerce a plan, for an example, uh, okay. that they could then offer because they have a bigger risk pool to their members, uh, you know, maybe employees of 25 or less or, or something on that order. Um, all of it would be competition in the private sector, <coughs> but no public option. Well, I'm a small business owner myself. I've got that option right now. I can join up with other groups and other companies to get a little health plan for my employees. Um, yeah. act it actually turns out it's more expensive to do this. Yeah, I, I guess <laughs> it actually is. I, I don't want to take us too far, Phil, but the, what, the lines I was thinking along is it seems to me that a lot of convolution around this is the tax treatment of, of employer-sponsored health care. So why not? Why not eliminate that, or, or just just equally treat it, so that all health insurance premiums are tax deductible at the individual level, regardless, individual or corporate level, whoever pays them, regardless. And then you don't have to worry about portability. You don't have to worry about any of that. Um, it's a much simpler solution, and it's a conservative solution. I think that's a good solution. I agree with you. I think that would be a great solution. 